Game number three of the World Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Baltimore Orioles. If you missed the first two games of this World Series, well, go check them out yesterday. The Reds won in walk-off fashion in game number two in episode number 100 of this Reds franchise mode. But we are back for episode number 101 for game three of this 2028 fall classic the reds of course are in their third consecutive world series winning the damn thing two years ago against the tampa bay rays but unfortunately losing last season in five to the los angeles angels but they find themselves now two games away from reclaiming the world championship here at camden yards in baltimore maryland and the reds don't even want to see the series go back to cincinnati this is the same exact scenario they were in in the nlcs against the atlanta braves we got to this game number three up to nothing in Atlanta, Georgia. Drop that, lost game four as well. And then all of a sudden you got a game five before you head back to Cincinnati 2-2 right so the reds really trying to win this game number three stay out of that situation where they have a two to one series advantage for game number four the orioles have scored one run in both games so far in this world series so we will see how the reds pitching adjusts tonight they'll have their lefty on the mound in nick lodolo trying to shut down this orioles squad pitching for the o's is the former red kumar rocker the former vandy product area of 6.75 in the postseason over three starts you'll see tj friedel first friedel gonna hit that fastball into right field he homered in the last game right there he will fly out bringing in ellie de la cruz on the one two pitch he's gonna elevate that fastball deep left field of course the extended wall out there in left field i mean it wouldn't have gone over anyway but it is what it is two down for bryce harper bryce is gonna blast one into center field but straight to another former red stewart fairchild to the bottom of the first here is nick lodolo 7.2 era over one start that of course took place in the nlcs against atlanta first up for the o's willie castro that's a swing and a miss on a slurve down or a slider down harold ramirez now in the one two and hit that circle change up the middle he'll be on with a one out single bringing up the shortstop in gerardo perdomo he will walk bringing in the dh tonight gunner henderson on the one one gunner hits that ball into center field right to tj friedel Coming to the plate now will be Kiba Ruiz. He is hitless in this World Series in a huge spot. 1-1 one, one pitch. Ruiz gets popped out to Matt McClain. Still 0-0 going into the top of the second. Jordan Alvarez leads things off for the Reds. And that's a no-doubter. Alvarez in the right field. See you later. 393 feet for Jordan Alvarez. His sixth of the postseason and the Reds go up one nothing early here in game number three a huge swing game in this series again either you're up three nothing or you find yourselves in a two to one series advantage as Matt Olson steps in here he will fly out into left Will Benson now on the two two swing and a miss on a curveball yes Francisco Alvarez is back in the eight spot tonight I'll be honest with you I just forgot to manually move him up the order but hey it might work here Spencer Steer with a double in the deep left he will be in now scoring position for Francisco Alvarez on a one-two pitch by Rocker Alvarez gets popped out to the second baseman over there in Willie Castro we go to the bottom of the second Reds up one nothing Teoscar Hernandez another former Red comes up on the one one and Teoscar is gonna get that ball to drop in center field so yeah the Orioles with two very different lineups with a lefty on the mound in Lodolo compared to the two righties they've seen in Hunter Green and Jose Arquiti. Heston Curtis-Dad gonna hit that ball far and left but Will Benson my goodness would have played that would have been a home run at the old Camden Yards arrangement in the outfield there is Stuart Fairchild TikTok superstar <laughs> Stuart Fairchild he'll fly out into center field at 2 TG. Jay Friedel, Braden Taylor up on the 2-2, and that ball's going to be popped up in the infield right to Spencer Steer. So we go to the third, still one to nothing Reds. They are yet to trail in this World Series. Matt McClain puts one on the ground. The third baseman over there and Taylor going to have a little bit of trouble with it, but he will still put away McClain at first. TJ Friedel on the 3-1 will walk. Runner on first with one out now for Ellie De La Cruz on the 2-2 center cut fastball. Diving play by the second baseman Castro. Everybody's safe. First and second, one out for Bryce Harper on the one, two, Bryce in the center field. That ball will get down. Oh, Stuart Fairchild misses the dive. De La Cruz and Friedel will score easily. Harper going to third. He's looking for an inside the Parker. Oh, he's going to be absolutely toast. Okay. Oh, man. 
But still, Bryce Harper with a two RBI triple to make this game three nothing, a missed timely dive by Stuart Fairchild will give Harper that knock. It probably would, would have just got in front of Fairchild in the first place. But again, two runs will score thanks to that Harper base knock. It is three nothing Reds now on to the bottom of the third and Nicola Dolo is absolutely dealing. He'll strike out Willie Castro. He will strike out Harold Ramirez. He will now see Perdomo on the one two pitch. Lodolo strikes out the side. My goodness, what an inning as Will Benson leads off here in the top of the fourth. That ball will get down as well. Another mistimed dive by Fairchild. Benson's going to go for three. He is in there with a... Oh, he's... Oh, my goodness. I thought we had another triple thanks to Stuart Fairchild. Instead, Benson is thrown out at third. Spencer Steer now grounds out to short, bringing in Francisco Alvarez on the 2-2. Alvarez swinging a miss on a changeup. Red still up 3-0 on to the bottom of the fourth. Gunnar Henderson leading things off. That ball's going to be pulled, but straight into the ground and right to Matt Olsen. One out for Kiber Ruiz. On the 1-1 one -one again, Ruiz still yet to get a hit in the World Series. He will have to wait till his next at-bat. He will fly out to Bryce Harper. To Oscar Hernandez on the 1-1. One -one. Lines one straight to Will Benson. We go to the fifth. Still 3-0 Reds. The Orioles with nothing to show here at home so far. Matt McClain lines one to left for an out. TJ Friedel now will roll over that changeup. Played by the first baseman, Harold Ramirez. Two gone for Ellie De La Cruz. He's one for two. Ellie will now be one for three as he strikes out on that changeup in the dirt. To the bottom of the fifth, Nick Lodolo still pitching well. Pitch number 64 will be a strikeout of Heston Kyrgyzstad. Stuart Fairchild on the 1-1. One -one. Puts one in the ground right to Spencer Steer. Steer was playing up because of the bunt. Two down, nine spot up, Braden Taylor, and Taylor hits one up the middle. That ball gets through. The O's extend the inning with a two-out single, bringing up the top of the order, which will be Willie Castro. The All-Star in 2028, Castro hits one into right center field. That ball's going to get through, and that will likely score the Orioles' first run here in game number three. Castro's going to have a double. Taylor scores from first. It is now 3-1 in favor of the Reds, but here come the Birds. Harold Ramirez on the 2-1 pitch on the ground. Ellie De La Cruz should have it, and he will. This game is still 3-1, going to the 6th. Bryce Harper leads things off here in the top of the 6th, hitting one on the ground to first. By the way, Ty Madden now in the game pitching for Baltimore. Here comes Jordan Alvarez. Homered earlier tonight! He's now 3-for-3 three three with two homers! Your Don's second solo shot of the game. He hit the first one to drive in the first run here in game three. Now it's 4-1 thanks to your Don Alvarez's seventh home run of the postseason. Again, 442 feet. He gives the Reds another one, gets that run back that we gave up in the bottom of the fifth. It's 4-1 for the Reds. Matt Olson grounds out to third. Two down now for the all-star Will Benson, the multi-time all-star Will Benson. He's going to elevate that ball into left field and it should bloop and get down. No, it won't. That ball's going to be caught by Teoscar Hernandez. Geraldo Perdomo leads things off here in the bottom of the sixth. That ball's going to get past Spencer Steer. Perdomo will hold it at first though, but he's on the leadoff single for Baltimore. Gunnar Henderson now past Spencer Steer as well. Just like that, back-to-back -back knocks for the Orioles puts the tying run to the plate. Here comes a 2028 All-Star in DeAndre Wilder. Wilder will see Kiber Ruiz, who's still hitless in the postseason or in the World Series, and, and that will continue. He pops out to Ellie De La Cruz. One gone for Teoscar Hernandez on the 2-2 pitch. Teo takes a sweeping curve into right, and Bryce Harper is gonna let it fall. I don't know if he didn't think he could get over to it, but the bases are loaded for Heston Kyrgyzstad. He's going to fly one to center field. TJ Friedel coming up on it. That ball's going to bloop as well. 4-2 Orioles. Kyrgyzstad with an RBI base knock. Stuart Fairchild now in the 2-1. Hits one to left field. Will Benson it should be able to get to this ball. But it will be a sacrifice fly for Baltimore. 4-3 now our score. Braden Taylor comes up on the 1-2. Slider in. It's off the glove of Spencer Steer. The O's are going to score another one. This game's going to be 4-4 four four here in the bottom of the sixth. Baltimore has come storming back. DeAndre Wilder is now pulled from this game in favor of Michael Kopech. Kopech needs to set down Willie Castro, and he will, I believe, Harper into right field. That ball is going to be caught in foul ground to the seventh. 
This game is essentially a three inning game now with Will Vest pitching for Baltimore. Spencer Steer lines one to right, but that ball will be caught. Francisco Alvarez in the 1-1, lines one to center field, and that ball's gonna get down. Alvarez is on with a one out single, making way now for Lloyd Hutchinson. He will pinch hit for Matt McClain on a one two pitch. Hutchinson gonna chop one to third. That play is gloved by Braden Taylor, but he sails the second baseman in Castro. Going to third is Alvarez. Everybody's safe. First and third, one out for the Reds. Estery Ruiz comes in a pinch run for Hutchinson. He will play second. TJ Friedel blasts one. Deep right field. The ball is up, and it is out of here. TJ Friedel with a three-run go-ahead home run in the top of the seventh to put the Reds up 7-4. 362 feet for TJ Friedel. He went yard in game number two last night. And my goodness, Friedel continues to deliver. It's 7-4 Reds, which all could have been avoided if Braden Taylor was able to turn the double play for the Orioles on that Lloyd Hutchinson ground out. Instead, here we are. Bryce Harper is now batting with a runner in scoring position on a 2-1 offering by Josh Storbs. Bryce Harper hits one to right field. 8-4 now, Cincinnati. They continue to pile it on. You cannot give this team extra chances because this is what they will do to you. Your Don Alvarez is now four for four. Lining one up the middle. Bryce Harper going home. He's safe. Nine, four reds. They've tacked on five here in the top of the seventh. The O's put up four in the bottom of the sixth. The reds respond with five coming right back at them. And Yel De Los Santos pitching now for the O's. He's been good in the postseason, 1.29 ERA, and he will get out the inning, forcing Will Benson to ground out to second. But wow, this game has been turned straight on its head. The Reds now have a five-run cushion. Michael Kopech will strike out Harold Ramirez and Geraldo Perdomo. Here comes Gunnar Henderson, ball on the ground to third to Spencer Steer. Kopech goes one, two, three in the bottom of the seventh. Spencer Steer steps up here in the top of the eighth. That ball will get down in right field. Again, the Reds continue to tack on more hits. Francisco Alvarez in the one, two. Oh, they're gonna say he went, uh, okay. One down for Estier Ruiz, who again, I have not seen get an actual hit other than a bunt. It's fine. Ruiz is again in the game now to play defense at second. TJ Friedel on the 3-2 will walk first and second two outs for Ellie De La Cruz. On the 2-1 pitch, Ellie blasts one. Oh, right to Harold Ramirez at first base. Going to the bottom of the eighth, the former Las Vegas, Sacramento, Oakland Athletic, Mason Miller will come out to pitch. Miller will see Kiba Ruiz first, who again is hitless in the World Series. He'll remain hitless in the World Series. Don't know why he's batting in the five spot, but it is what it is. Teoscar Hernandez absolutely obliterates a baseball in the deep left field. That one will one hop the wall. Hernandez will be standing on second base with a one out double, or he's going to go for third. All right. I mean, all day. Try us. It looks like the O's maybe have given up. I don't know. I don't know why Teo would try to leg that into three, but it is what it is. Curtis Stad grounds out to Spencer Steer. Let's go straight to the bottom of the ninth. Nothing happened in the top half of the inning. Mason Miller will see Stuart Fairchild first. He will fly one in the left field. Will Benson coming in, and he will glove that one. One out in the inning for Braden Taylor on the one two. Taylor swinging a miss on a circle change. Final out for the O's. Willie Castro swing and a miss on a slider. That does it from Baltimore and Camden Yards here in game number three. The Cincinnati Reds were up 4 nothing, give up four runs in the bottom of the sixth, but storm back with five in the top of the seventh to win game number three of the World Series, 9-4. to four. And now they are one game away from winning the World Series. They're second in the last three seasons, 13 hits for the Reds. Here in game number three, that was enough to win here in game again at number three. I keep saying that, but again, folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 101 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. If you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the series so far. Something's telling me we might be back later today for another episode of the Reds franchise. Just you wait. Folks, thank y'all for watching, and Mava forever.